You can rekindle your love of reading this weekend. Yes, this Saturday is Independent Bookstore Day. And this morning we are joined by Richard Hunt from Roebling Point Books and Coffee. Good morning to you. Good morning. And Good he morning, brought coffee even and brought, books. Even brought coffee <laughs> and both. I wasn't expecting both. I expected some books. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. So tell us first before we talk about your shops about mm -hmm. Independent Bookstore Day. Last week we were talking with the folks from Shake It Records in sure. Northside about yes. independently owned record stores. Um, independent bookstores still are out there and and starting to thrive again, right? Indeed. indeed. Um, the We've always thought that a city needs a bookstore like a body needs a soul. Yeah. Mm. And so Ooh. Independent mm. Bookstore Day is that chance that we all get to celebrate as one across the country. Um, you know, there's about 5,000 independent bookstores out there. And they're very often in the very center of their neighborhoods, um, as, as are we, and we're fortunate to do that. But it's kind of our Mardi Gras. It's our love fest. It's our thanks for all the people we serve. That's and so awesome. we try to make things different a little bit for them um, during that week, whether it's some special promotions we can talk about. But the other element is, is that we've been turning Independent Bookstore Day kind of into Independent Bookstore Week. So on Monday night, um, Emily Harris, who is a Cincinnati New York Times bestselling author, we had a midnight release for her first, oh, her wow. next bestseller. Love and that. so at 12.01, we had 50 people in their Yay, pajamas in the bookstore, and, and, and they were very happy. Yeah. You know? And by 12.15, they were home with their book, and that was all great. It, it is yeah. so, it, it does feel so apropos that we're talking to you so soon after we talk to the guys at Shaken right, Records, right. because I, I feel like in this, in this digital age that we're, we're living in and through, and probably will continue to always be in going forward, you know, there was some question whether places like your place, like Shake, right. will they continue to be around and, right. and how will they serve people? But it sounds like there are many right. people who want to be served in that and, way. Yeah, and in fact, Bob, they've come back with a fervor. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, they really, getting information digi digitally is kind of up to the moment, um, but this is reflective. This is, reading a book is as much about the reader as it is about the books. Well, so and about, great. we're seeing some video right now oh, of your okay. stores and, yeah. and I was looking at your website earlier, and no wonder why people want to come and be a part of it. It looks so inviting. It's like somebody's, you're walking into somebody's living room, and you know, I think people want community too. I mean, mm -hmm. sure, you can order a book on Amazon and have it sent to your home, but go in there and feeling the books and seeing the covers, and I don't know about, I mean, you probably know this, but the smell <laughs> of a book. I yeah. love yeah. the smell of a new book right. and just being part of these different, you know, you have all kinds of different, well, tell us about some of the other things you do. I mean, you have book right. clubs and you have, you know, kids events. And, and we do a lot of local author things. And Monday was also Earth Day. So for instance, we were promoting books like 60 Hikes My wife Cincinnati. and I have that, my, 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 my wife and I have this book. We, we, <laughs> we, we, we use this book frequently to determine what uh, what hikes we're going on. That's, right. a, that's a great one. And our walking Cincinnati. So if you that's, you a, that's parent, a companion piece. And this piece. is all neighborhoods. So this yeah. is all sort of Within um, city centric, this is all within 275. Love it. Um, you know, Earth Day also gave us a chance to talk about Eat the Weeds or Birds of Ohio and all these things that help people. We know a lot of readers get ready for their big bucket list trip, but this is an every weekend kind of thing. And if we're local and they're local, this is a way to celebrate local. Can I see the Eat the Weeds book? You betcha. <laughs> the best part about Eat the Weeds, there's <laughs> nutritional information about each one of those things that you would forage oh, in that book. So, so beautiful, too. You can, yeah, it's a brilliant book. Yeah. When you try to describe Roebling books to people who have either not been to it yet or really with, with the generation that's coming up now maybe have never been inside a bookstore i mean right. I, you know i can remember when i was a kid i would ride my bike to walden books oh, to go yeah. to go through the comic book section or or you know that kind of thing yeah. kids don't get an opportunity to do that anymore and so you, so you have you have younger people who are not just being introduced to the idea of holding an actual book itself and not holding you, you know an amazon kindle but they're being reintroduced to just going to a bookstore what right. do you tell them well, we, th we first say welcome, you know, <laughs> yeah. and very often, especially when they're coming in by themselves and not with their parents for the first time, you'll get a wow, you know, <laughs> they'll sort of stand there and look around and um, a, a few of the stores are set up by sections, so there's fiction and nonfiction and, um, you know, kids, uh, special kids room in all the stores, but they're just taking it in, they're just receiving all this sort of visual and the smell of new books and the smell of coffee <laughs> and the chocolate. Go. I it's, mean, it's a one, too. That's, I love that. Right. That's a nice combination. <laughs> I know you have, uh, you, you mentioned a few special things that you're going to be doing yep. for independent bookstores. Is, is that what you have there with yeah, you? Yeah, we do indeed. We have um, 
So banned books is still a big deal mm -hmm. in, in, in our area. So this is a, a little keychain. Um, zip bag kind of it, thing. It's a, a bag, yeah. a zipper bag that yeah. you can go, pouch is the best word yeah. for it. Yeah. You know, there are special books that were put out by the American Booksellers Association in conjunction. We'll have those. Um, we love, in, so to the kids, we love Indies coloring books. Nice. Um, that all goes together. And for anybody who buys three books, they get the free book bag. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Gotta have one of those. Um, we also, as you mentioned, Jen, have the book swap going on. Yeah, that's Sunday, right? Yes. So we'll have areas outside where if you brought a book in and, still, and you loved it and it's on your shelf, but you want to make room for another one, you just simply swap it out from what we have. There. I love that idea. Right. I do too. And, yeah. and I keep thinking back to the conversation I had with Darren Blaze mm -hmm. last week, uh, Shake, Shake, it. It, Shake It Records. Mm -hmm. And when he talked about people going downstairs mm -hmm. um, and just kind of going through, mm -hmm. he said, I love it because it feels like we're wrecking their algorithm. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. In, oh, instead yeah. of a computer deciding, yeah. People are coming in and, and probably searching for books in, in, in an entirely different way than what we're accustomed to today. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And we similar. try to put a lot of books face out so they can see it immediately. You know, spines are not nearly as captivating. Right. Yeah. But the big moment, the our wrecking the algorithm moment, is when somebody comes in afterwards and they say, this book changed my life. Oh, and you, oh, just, you just can't stop. And it. they can. Books certainly can change yeah. your life, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, before we let you go, you, I want you to mention all your locations. Okay. Um, we have, we're very fortunate to have three Roebling Books Coffee. First one's in Covington, started a dozen years ago, pretty much at the foot of the Roebling Bridge. Um, we've been in, open in Newport for three and a half years in a former watch case manufacturing company mm -hmm. service station. And then it's our one year anniversary in Dayton um, in a former corner grocery store. And um, we're, we're delighted to see people every day. We have a remarkable staff. People are more lucky if I'm not there and somebody else is there <laughs> and they can say hi. And, and it's, all, it's all a big group hug. And Independent Books for a Day is all about that. Yeah. I feel like they do okay if you're there, too. Uh, I, yeah. that, that's the sense I get. I mean, Rich, thank you so much for coming yeah, in. Thank you. This, is, this has been just wonderful. Uh, we'll get a link up the website, uh, local12.com. We'll get a link, and everybody Perfect. can find the different events and everything there, I assume? Yes. Okay. Thank you much. We'll do it. Thanks for coming in. Really appreciate it. Sure, you can stop watching. But let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links, or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.